Hello, I'm going to give you a short intro to Rundeck, the IT operations management platform. Rundeck is great for coordinating actions and creating standard operating procedures across all of your various scripts, tools, and APIs. Rundeck is designed to work great with both the legacy infrastructure that you already have and the new infrastructure and tooling that you are planning to roll out. Rundeck's built-in access control and governance features make it easy and safe to delegate operational activity to a broad range of your colleagues even across team and organizational boundaries. So let's get started by looking at the most popular ways that companies are using Rundeck right now. The first use case, also our most popular use case, is about supporting SRE and operational support activity. SRE, or Site Reliability Engineering, is a modern approach to operations and systems administration work that brings software engineering practices and discipline to operating highly available and highly scalable systems. One of the key ideas for the SRE way of working is to reduce toil. Toil is the manual or semi-manual repetitive tasks that kill the productivity of operations engineers and prevents them from performing other value-adding work. Rundeck provides a platform to create standard, shareable operating procedures and do so in a way that works across today's dynamic and ephemeral VM, cloud, or container infrastructure. Rundeck allows for automated procedures to be shared internally amongst your traditional operations colleagues or safely delegated to those who are outside of traditional operations but make requests of others to do operational tasks so they can get their own work done. This could be developers, QA, or even business analysts and project managers. Of course, Rundeck provides a layer of security and auditability across all the operational activity executed through Rundeck. Workload automation is another use case. Companies see the value in leveraging a common platform to automate both service-related operations tasks and their legacy business batch processing tasks. Rundeck provides a modern and easier-to-use alternative to enterprise job scheduling tools and works well across both legacy and modern infrastructure. Rundeck's self-service capabilities, both in job definition and job execution, allows for roles and responsibilities to be distributed in new ways that help improve the flow of work across your organization. Big data, analytics, and ETL jobs are a set of popular use cases. People use Rundeck to automate procedures that support their data management and analytics needs. They set up jobs that connect to different data sources to do things like run scripts, call APIs, and transfer files between data processing tools. Rundeck is a great way to capture the knowledge of your organization's data experts as standard procedures that can be shared throughout your organization via Rundeck's secure self-service capabilities. Deployment automation is another popular use case where Rundeck is used to orchestrate deployment tasks across any type of environment. You can trigger your deployment jobs manually or have your build or CI server trigger deployments automatically. Rundeck is also useful when you have specialists in your organization, like network engineers or DBAs, who get a lot of repetitive requests to be involved with standard deployment activity. Rundeck enables them to safely create and delegate the execution of those automated repetitive tasks. The way that Rundeck's resource model can be kept up to date by the various other systems in your organization ensures that you can use Rundeck to make these procedures as dynamic and flexible as possible. Cloud native coordination is a new use case growing in popularity. Containers and serverless architectures are major shifts that we see emerging across our user community. With Rundeck, you can define procedures that call the various APIs of your container orchestration tools to launch services or to troubleshoot when things go wrong. Rundeck allows you to set up a more friendly and secure interface so you aren't exposing your users directly to low-level APIs or a bunch of service-specific user interfaces. Rundeck is also great for orchestrating procedures that need to span your new container infrastructure or serverless infrastructure APIs, plus legacy systems, databases, and network gear. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how Rundeck works. Let's start with what goes on inside Rundeck. The first thing I want to mention are projects. Projects are workspaces inside your Rundeck. They're mostly for management purposes. You can use projects to organize your jobs, and projects can be used to provide boundaries for security policies and resource model data. How you define your projects is really up to you. Some people use them for multi-tenancy purposes or to divide up jobs by business unit or application or environment. Uh, really, you can decide what is best for your organization. Jobs are the main event in Rundeck. These are the workflows that you define and execute. You have a lot of control over your jobs. 
you define the steps of the workflow and the execution strategy that you want the workflow to follow. For example, parallel, sequential, or even custom rules. Jobs can be triggered manually from the GUI, command line, or API. Jobs can also be triggered by a schedule that you define. Jobs also have built-in air handling, log filters, and user notification capabilities. Steps are the individual actions that make up a workflow. A job will have one or more steps in its workflow. There are multiple types of steps. You can inline scripts of almost any language, call external commands or scripts, and call other Rundeck jobs. Steps are also a plugin point, and there are all sorts of existing plugins that you can use. It is also remarkably easy to create your own plugins, which provides an extra point of standardization and a way to add some extra polish to your user experience. When jobs are running and steps are executing, you have multiple ways of viewing the output. You can see the output collated by node, you can see a logical view of the workflow as it executes, or you can see the full log output. The built-in log filter capabilities gives you an extra level of control over the output of your job and therefore the user experience of a job. Nodes are the remote endpoints against which a step executes. Since Rundeck uses an agentless model, nodes can really be anything. You can use nodes to model physical machines, virtual machines, containers, databases, APIs, services, or really anything else that's physical or logical in your environment. Nodes can have tags and attributes that are handy for management purposes, but also become part of the execution context of a job and are available to the steps in a job. You can define nodes locally in Rundex resource model, but Rundex is designed with the idea that there are often better sources of truth in your environment. CMDBs or infrastructure management tools know about your servers. Configuration management tools know a lot about the desired configuration. Monitoring tools know about the current status. Cloud and container infra uh, infrastructure expose configuration and performance data, and so on and so forth. Rundeck can be configured to use all of that data and more to dynamically update the node definitions in the Rundeck resource model. Okay, so that was a brief look at what goes on inside Rundeck. Now let's talk about what happens around Rundeck. As I previously mentioned, Rundeck jobs are meant to glue together or coordinate all the various scripts, commands, tools, and APIs in your environment. Rundeck is there to make what you currently have better and make it easier to integrate the new tools and infrastructure as you roll them out. The more that Rundeck knows about your environments, the better. So Rundeck is designed to want to pull as much of that data as possible from other sources to update Rundeck's resource model on the fly. You can do this in a number of ways, with plugins, with scripts, with reading files, etc. It's really quite flexible and a powerful feature for you to leverage. Rundeck also wants to play well in the rest of your corporate processes. I've already mentioned Rundeck's fine-grained access control capabilities, which is a critical requirement in any enterprise. For user authentication and user group membership, Rundeck can integrate with your existing Active Directory or LDAP directory and also has single sign-on capabilities. Rundeck can also integrate with popular ITSM and ticket systems like ServiceNow and Jira, Rundeck can integrate with tickets, check if a ticket exists, or even automate the management of tickets. Of course, tying it all together is the Rundeck user experience. Rundeck wants to let your teams work the way that they want to work. Whether that be the GUI, the API, or the command line, they are all functionally equivalent. Also, in addition to managing your jobs and your project configuration via the Rundeck GUI, you can also do that in source files and then easily switch back and forth. So that's it for this overview of Rundeck. If you want more information or to see a more in-depth tour, visit rundeck.com. Rundeck is made to set up and use. So you can get started today in the open source community or you can start a free trial of Rundeck Pro. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We love Rundeck and we think you will too.